okay so uh, this was the slide which we just shown in the last lecture so this is a continuation of previous lecture of curvilinear coordinates so this is basically the lecture 2 of that so in the last lecture we have dealed about uh, some basic definitions on the curves and lines so today in this lecture we are going to deal with unit vectors in curvilinear systems and much more topics so unit vectors in curvilinear system so if i say uh, there is a coordinate let's say vector r that is written at x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap and this is a specific position in space let's say that point in space is p then and let's call this equation as equation number 1 so there exist if i say that u1 u2 u3 are the generalized or say the general coordinates of any transformation then u1 u2 r can be written as terms of u1 u2 u3 then what is a tangent vector if i ask so the tangent vector this r can be written as in functions of u1 u2 u3 so tangent vector to the u1 curve so u1 curve remember a u1 curve let's say that at point p so there is a specific position of point p in space that is x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap now your r can be written as a function of u1 u2 u3 so the tangent vector to the u1 curve at that point p so u1 curve is for what u2 and u3 are constants remember that line definition so u2 and u3 are constant u2 is some c2 u3 is some c2 so that is u1 curve so the tangent and the tangent will be given by the partial derivative that is del r by del u1 so that is the tang uh, tangent vector at that point okay p so the unit tangent vector if i say uh, let us define the unit tangent vector so unit tangent vector let's def de denote it is as u1 so unit vector any if i say that a is a vector then this you can write it is modulus of a into direction that is a cap so similarly a cap can be defined as a vector by modulus of a vector so e1 that is a unit tangent vector can be written as del r by del u1 divided by mod of del r by del u1 okay now let us for simplicity we can call del r by del u1 mod let's that is a number let's call it as h1 not number in general but x y z that becomes 1 so uh, unit vector e1 can be written as del r by del u1 times h1 that's the first thing so or you can write del r by del u1 this is h1 e1 e1 is a unit vector h1 is some factor that is del r by del u1 so let me write all these uh, all the three terms so the first term will be del r by del u1 that is h1 e1 similarly you can go through another curve and you will find some another factor h2 e2 3 del r by del u3 that is h3 e3 uh where your where what does h1 h2 h3 are h1 is equal to mod of del r by del u1 remember this we will use this again and again so i am uh, emphasizing this terms so del r by del u2 and h3 is equal to del r by del of u3 so these are h1 h2 h3s and these h1 h2 h3s these h1 h2 h3s are nothing but they are called as scaling scale factors so scale factors differ in coordinate system to coordinate system like in cartesian coordinate system these are all one h1 h2 s3 all are one in a spherical coordinate system these are 1 r r r sin theta in cylindrical this is 1 r 1 sorry 1 r 
in polar coordinates in r and theta the both are one so that is the importance of these scaling factors and these e1 e2 e3 this e1 e2 e3 these e1 e2 e3 are called the unit vectors these are the unit vectors because remember our coordinate system was u1 u2 u3 which was orthogonal coordinate system and e1 is a direction at that u1 so it is a tang unit vectors along e1 e2 e3 in unit vectors in in and we are taking tangent so this is increasing uh basically we are dealing with direction so unit vector in direction increasing of u1 u2 u3 respectively okay so this was the unit vector in curvilinear coordinate system so if i know the line element or oh sorry if i know the unit vectors and uh, scaling factors then we can write what are the arc length and volume elements so arc length and volume element so this is our next topic we will also deal surface elements so let's uh, start one by one so the first thing is uh, if i write wish to write dr that is a small uh, change in position so dr will be written as del r by del u1 d u1 remember r, r is a function of u1 u2 u3 so you have to partial derivative with u1 u2 u3 plus del r by del u2 d u2 plus del r by del u3 d u3 okay so uh, your dr will equal to i know i have derived uh, del r by del u1 so this is h1 e1 so i will write h1 d u1 e1 because e1 is a uh, i will bold it at because this is a unit vector so h1 d u1 u1 similarly h2 d u2 e2 plus h3 d u3 that is e3 so this is the general line element in any coordinate system so this line element is written in, in general in general so later we will see uh, using this we will write cartesian polar spherical everything okay so so uh, for orthogonal coordinate system for orthogonal what we are dealing is for orthogonal coordinate system coordinate system uh, we are defining it as e1 dot e2 that is equal to e2 dot e3 that is equal to e3 dot e1 and that is equal to 0 so let us define the this is for orthogonal coordinate system uh, <coughs> this holds and so if i wish to define that ds square so ds square that is the uh, differential of of arc length so this is a dr dot dr so if i writing it as a vector or you can simply uh, write it as dr dot dr dot dr so dr dot dr so this is d1 dh sorry h1 square d1 square plus h2 square d u2 square plus h3 square d u3 square so this was about the arc length so let us define the second thing that is the length then after the surface so the second thing what we are going to define is surface element so if i wish to find uh, the surface element of let's say uh, that is d let's say the surface that is in u1 u2 okay u1 u2 surface so that surface element is d of dl that is the line element or you can substitute as dl of u1 cross dl of u2 that is the magnitude if you want to find the direction then you should have the n cap where n cap is perpendicular to perpendicular to u1 and u2 surface so that 
this end cap is perpendicular to the surface and generally it comes out to be u e1 cross e2 the direction is that is basically e3 <coughs> in this coordinate system this is orthogonal co coordinate system similarly you can write uh, u for u2 and for u3 so for u2 u3 it will be dl of u2 cross dl of u3 D, ds of u3 u1 will be dl of u3 cross dl1 of u2 into this normal direction okay so <coughs> the third thing that is the volume element the volume element so the, the volume element it turns out to be that is dv sorry dv this volume element will be equal to h1 h2 h3 du1 du2 du3 oh sorry uh, one thing i missed it out so there will be some factors that is h1 h2 also will be there because these are the scaling factors which define the different coordinate system so scaling factors will be there and the volume element is a product of the scaling factors into the differential of these elements so now we are in the state to define the all the coordinate systems in detail so uh, this was about the unit vector arc length and arc volume in the next upcoming lecture we will be using these coordinates uh, these are uh, definitions of generalized arc length surface element volume element and we will have the analogy of by using these relations first we will calculate h1 h2 h3 that are the scaling factors of different coordinate system that is cartesian polar cylindrical spherical and then we will uh, define this arc length surface volume element and then we will jump on to that uh, <coughs> gradient divergence and curl formulas okay so if you have not subscribed the channel do subscribe the channel for latest updates and thank you